So today's show is about boat maintenance. And you might say, Danny, how's fishing in your pond have anything to do with boat maintenance? Well, cause if I would have done boat maintenance, I would not be fishing in my pond right now. I'd be on the river. There he is. Oh, the frog got away. No. So yesterday evening, I came in and uh, was gonna plug the boat in and basically just throw some stuff together and go fishing. Well, that's the wrong thing to do. No! I plugged the boat in and noticed that on my charger, which I'll show you. I got a four bank charger. I just plugged it in. And one of my batteries was on red showing that it wouldn't charge. And I was like, what in the world is going on? So I went and looked. Sure enough, I had left my power on the boat. So it had completely drained the battery. I decided to turn the power off, let it charge for a little while. Still didn't. So then I checked the water in the battery. The water looked all right, but it just wasn't going to take a charge. I left it overnight and it still hasn't charged. So today we're going to change out the battery and uh, I'm going to be a little embarrassed right here, but do not let your boat get this way. Yeah. That is a menagerie of chaos. We're going to fix that. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, I think you can. You can see they're blinking over to the right. And over to the left, there's a red spot. That would be my running start battery, right there. So, we gotta take that one out. And go to the parts place. Get me another marine starting battery. But we're gonna get this one out first. Alright, so taking these nuts off. And I've identified all my wires. Here's my ground, my main ground for the engine, and here's the ground for all my electrical stuff. And then also there was a um black wire for the um for the charger. So I'm gonna set the charger over here to the side. Here's my powers. Usually these batteries are strapped in so that they don't bounce around. So it's very heavy. Okay. Now I thought they were getting a really good close up in my face. Back on. Get your two positives. Move this down out of the way so you can see. It's your negatives. Careful not to drop your nuts. <laughs> or you may have to take all your batteries back out just to get to the bottom of the boat to get it. You 
I'll make sure these are good and tight. I'm gonna use using a pair of pliers because I feel confident in my ability to get it tight. Some people try to use a actual half inch wrench. plug it in and see if it's charging or if it's red and she's charging so one other thing I'm gonna do while I've got this open is I'm gonna take I'm gonna unplug it I'm gonna take these lids off down here I'm gonna open them up and check make sure it's got water in there be careful don't just put any water in your batteries it needs to be distilled water super clean water and uh you don't want to fill them all the way up to the top but you do want to fill them up to that rim where you can see it all right so this reel that's a pretty junky line on it been on there for too, way too long had way too much memory so, we're going to put a new line on here. What I do is find the reel. I try to line my line up with it as straight as I can. And I've got some janky stuff, so. Just enough pressure. I don't want too much pressure, but you want enough. I want it to spin pretty freely, but have some tension on there so the line sets just right. My eyes are not as good as they used to be. guys i'm trying to get the boat prepped um here's some of the things that i always make sure i've got my boat especially whenever it starts getting colder outside because i still fish even though it's cold um well we got our um, rain jackets or also wind jackets and the whole suits for me and travis i hate being cold um also i try to keep some neck warmers sometimes some beanies and some gloves um the safe face and it's awesome it keeps the wind right out of your eyes so that you're driving or riding either one you still want to keep sunscreen in the boat uh it's alabama here so it it's liable to get you know 80 degrees one day and 30 the next so you still want to keep your bug spray in there first aid kit extra batteries um i always keep toilet paper um ziploc bags Always make sure you got enough life jackets in the boat for as many people as going to be in the boat. I usually carry at least one more. Uh, I made sure that my fire extinguisher was good. I keep a golden rule in the boat to make sure that, you know, I'm within limits for whatever I'm fishing for. Um, a knife, a pair of pliers, um, Phillips head and flathead screwdrivers. Um, I always keep water and snacks in the boat. Always keep water. And uh, it's not just for me and staying hydrated. You could run into somebody that's stranded and hadn't had nothing um, to eat or anything clean to drink in a long time. Um, sunglasses, I don't know if I said that. But you know, as you can see right here, I 
I always keep this stuff in the boat. And like I said, a lot of times it's not about you. Um, you could run into a situation where you need to have these things for somebody else. And it's nice to have them in there and it don't take up that much room. And, you know, it helps everybody else out. Thank you. All right. So I know I'm the only person that does this, surely. But, uh, yeah, so I got a bait. I'm not catching anything on it. I bite that bait off, throw it in the boat, tie another one on. I don't get the box that I got the bait out of and put that bait back after clipping the line and all that, like I should. So now, I go through every bait, clip the line off, put it back in its appropriate box. All right, everybody. Got the boat all set up. The batteries are charged. The Everything's cleaned up. The tools are back, or the baits are back where they belong. Um, hope you liked the video. If you didn't, don't tell nobody. But if you did like it, uh, please hit like and share. And we'll see y'all next time.